Yes. I have a question about the uh, theological developments you were talking about, especially considering the Jewish nature of the Jesus movement. Yeah. Uh, of course, in the Old Testament, there's very little examples of resurrection, and when it happens, it happens with a human agent. There's a lot of fertility problems, but no virgin birth. But around the time of Jesus, and in the same area, you've got a ton of pagan religions. Obviously, you just mentioned about some several figures who were divine. You've got, you know, Addis and Mithra and Horus and people that have... Uh, they have virgin births and then you have uh, resurrections as well that don't require human agents. So what I'm wondering is when you have these elements of pagan theology kind of infused in Christianity, how do you account for that over the development or do you? Yeah, thank you. You know, it's, it is a modern myth that, um, that there were lots of accounts of people being born of virgins and on December 25th and that they were crucified and that they were buried and raised from the dead. It's actually a modern myth. Those, uh, Mithras was not born on December 25th. Uh, his mother was not a virgin. Uh, Osiris is not raised from the dead. Uh, People say that, but the people who say that don't know the ancient sources. The ancient sources, in fact, don't bear that out. Um, there are a number of things, though, that are common to uh, pagan religions. Uh, in my book, I talk about Apollonius of Tiana, who had, he didn't have a virgin birth, but he had a spectacular, miraculous birth. Uh, he was understood to be the son of God. He could, um, he could heal the sick. He could cast out demons. He could raise the dead. At the end of his life, he ascended to heaven. And so, I mean, it sounds a lot like Jesus. So what's that about? Well, what it's about is the Christians are speaking in terms that the people around them can understand. And their understanding of Jesus is, of course, borrowed from the environment. The only way we understand anything is in relationship to what we already know. And so what they knew were these stories, and so Jesus was told in light of the stories. That's absolutely right. So I, I, do, uh, I do talk about that at some length in, in my book.